Visual communication is a natural extension of the phone call. We do expect that in the future, and we're not talking 20 years from now, but a few years from now, everyone is going to be accessible over video. We all expect to have the ability that we've seen in the science fiction movies a long, long time ago for people to just have natural, lifelike communication. The reality is the technologies prior to video that, that supported that was just too expensive for any meaningful deployment. To date, high quality video conferencing was really limited to very rich enterprises. So our vision was to create a system that would allow people to have natural video communication and do it in a scale that was not supported by the economics of existing solutions. You could think about it as democratizing video communication. Before video, video conferencing was something that was locked in the boardroom in most cases. It was something that if you wanted to get out of the boardroom, you drop down to a very low quality of experience. Video brings the quality of the boardroom environment into very wide scale personal deployment in the enterprise, in the consumer, and in the business to consumer services. This is the transformation that makes the video communication from uh, a board application to everyday interaction between individuals, between people. We are all about able the ability to run over the internet. We don't need special networks. And we run on devices that people use uh, every day, such as their tablets, smartphones, PCs, desktop, laptops, and connect those very efficiently and very, very high quality to the telepresence rooms. Being an innovator basically means impacting people's life, creating new capabilities that did not exist before. Video is an innovator because we've created technology that changes the landscape of video communication, enabling it to be introduced into a very wide scale of applications from healthcare, education, government application, and enterprise communication, even in consumer applications that are done for pure recre recreational purposes. As a startup company that has the ability to really engage a new business model and at the same time have this amazing new technology, video is in the process of transforming the world and bringing new capabilities to very, very wide audiences in the business uh, and in the consumer space. We're very excited to see people that take our platform and capabilities and further expand it for many applications we did not even envision. We've seen a uh, university that deploy a wireless network in um, an island in Panama. They actually discover new insects um, using the system. When you look at video communication and you take it outside of the boardroom, a lot of exciting things happen. You now see the hearing impaired person that can sign language to someone who interpret him and help him communicate. Uh, we've seen people that were using video in disaster areas. For example, after uh, the, the earthquake in Haiti, we've um, uh, participated in a, in a very interesting project where doctors in uh, North America were training um, medical students in Haiti because the, uh, there was no other uh, ability for those people to get education as the local university was devastated. We're seeing uh, many partners in the medical space that are creating novel medical applications. We've seen business uh, partners that are creating new forms of video communication tools that we didn't envision. Our platform reduces the barrier of entry and allows so many new people to, and partners to innovate and create these amazing applications that really change and transform the world of visual communication. We are very proud to provide tools for people to expand the horizon, to push the envelope. And this is one of the, frankly, one of the unique things about our platform that it's so open for innovation and allow people to create these new and exciting applications.